Hello everyone, my name is Zanto, and today I've just got a little quick tutorial on how to make your streams DMCA safe on Twitch. As I know that quite a lot of people have got questions on uh, is it safe to stream Clone Hero and all that on Twitch. Um, short answer, technically not. But there's ways around it. And um, <clears throat> so pretty much how Twitch works is they've got the licenses for live music. So let's say you're humming a song. Like, um, you know, <laughs> they've got licenses for that, but I, you can kind of bend the rules by something that they said the other day on a, a live stream, um, where pretty much as long as it's a live performance, you are allowed to stream music on Twitch. Now, I don't know about you, but I think, uh, I think Guitar Hero counts as a live performance, eh? You're playing an instrument and it's creating music, technically. So technically, you can use that as a loophole. Um, but there's one thing you want to do um, which will stop your VODs from getting scanned. So going back to the way that Twitch works, um, live streams don't get scanned at all by their software. It's called Audio Magic, I think it's called. And they don't get scanned by it at all live streams. But the VODs and clips do, and that's the difference. Um, so there is a way <coughs> that OBS recently added which allows you to uh, to pretty much make it so that you can hear the music while you're streaming, so people can watch live and you'll hear it. Whereas when you go back and watch the VOD that gets saved to Twitch or any clips that get saved, they won't have any audio in it at all, apart from your voice. Like you'll be able to hear your voice and you know the clicking of the strum bar and stuff, but you won't hear the in-game music at all. And I thought I'd just make a quick tutorial on that, as uh, it's not very well documented. So, I've got my OBS here, I've sneakily put my camera over the top, as you can see, to stop creating infinite amounts of me. But the easy way to do it, is you want to go up to File, Settings, and remember this only works on regular OBS, it does not work on Streamlabs, okay? Um, and make sure you've got the latest version of OBS. I'm running 26.1.0, but make sure you've got just the newest one available, and it will be there. So settings, you want to go into output, and you'll see this right here, Twitch VOD track, and you'll see a little box, and you'll see like 1 to 6 there. All you want to do is click the little tick box, so it'll say Twitch VOD track, check, and then you want to click and select the number 2. Because I'm recording, it won't let me do it. Um, but that's what you want to use. You want to click tick and then two. Very, very easy. You want to click apply and then okay. And then that's the, the base of its setup. So what that does is that allows track two, okay, keep this in your mind for a moment. Track two is the Twitch VOD track, which means it won't appear in VODs, okay? So that's number two. Next, you want to go down here to your audio mixer and on any of these it doesn't matter which one you'll click that little cog wheel you see the cog wheel click the cog and then click advanced audio properties right there you see that and that'll bring up this little window right here which i'll bring down to the bottom so you can see it and you'll see all of your uh, advanced audio properties so whether they're mono or stereo you've got the balance so whether they're all on left side all on right that sort of thing but the important bit here is the tracks right here all you want to do is for your desktop audio or wherever your music's coming out, if you've got a more fancy setup for audio, wherever your music is coming out of, and you can see that by the little waves down here, you see desktop audio and microphone, like mic or augs. See, like that bar went, went quiet when I, I was quiet then. Um, as long as your music is playing on, like, let's say, desktop audio, you want to turn that off for number two, and that's it. That's literally all you have to do. Just untick this box. Bam. And then all that will happen is whenever you stream Clone Hero, it'll be like normal while you're streaming. But whenever you go back in the VOD after and you look at it, there'll be only your voice. Anything that isn't the desktop audio source will be on there. But the music won't be on there at all. So if you're streaming the game... Clone Hero, I highly recommend doing this. It will save your VODs from getting muted or even worse, potentially getting a strike, which will be happening later this year. Um, so, yeah, that's just an easy little tutorial. Um, if you want to get 
it back. So let's say you're playing a different game that isn't Clone Hero. Let's say you stream multiple games. All you have to do is, before you stream the other game, just remember to go back and tick that box again. And you'll be fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much it. It's that easy. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that if you're playing Clone Hero. Um, it means that, yeah, it's a lot easier. Now, the next thing I'll mention is a little bit more of a technical side. If you've got, let's say, YouTube, and you want to put an FC of a really cool song on YouTube, like I got a really cool FC today, uh, Painkiller, uh, Death Cover. Um, now, I got that today, but of course, when I go back in the VOD, and I don't locally record either because it takes up too much of my, uh, I wouldn't say hard drive space, but it's quite taxing on my PC. So I rely on VODs. Now, I'll look back and I'll see that the VOD has got no in-game audio, and no one wants to watch that. So, what you can do is you can highlight it in Twitch. They've got a feature for that, it's called Highlight. Highlight that section, and all you have to do, download that bit, because it'll let you download it, and then put it in an editing software, and edit the song over the top of it. You've got the song on your computer because it's Clone Hero. You've got the audio file for that song. So just take that audio file, put it into an editing software, sync it up with the video, and there you go. You've got an FC video straight from, from Twitch, pretty much. Um, and that's what I do with all my FCs. Uh, all my recent FCs um, over the last couple of months after this video has come out have been like that. So no one else has noticed the difference. <laughs> no one has noticed. But anyway... Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on another video. If you like guitar hero content, check out um, check out my channel and also the Gent Hero Collection, which I make as well. Um, my chart packs for the game. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And uh, yeah, see you around. Goodbye.